University Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. England plays Scotland tonight in a match between a 16th century college and a 15th century university, both of which have been champions of the series in the past. Whichever team wins will take a step towards the possibility of a second win, and if the losers can come away with a score that's among our four highest losing scores from these first-round matches, they'll earn themselves the right to play again. Now, Emmanuel College Cambridge was founded in 1584 by the Puritan Chancellor of the Exchequer to Elizabeth I to educate Protestant preachers. According to Jonathan Swift, Lemuel Gulliver went there at the age of 14. Flesh and blood alumni include John Harvard, the founder of Harvard College, and more recently, the writers Sebastian Folks and Michael Frayn. The science author Simon Singh and the comedians Rory McGrath and Graham Chapman also went there representing around 630 students and an institution that's won this competition in 2010. Tonight's team have an average age of 20. Let's meet them. Hello, I'm Nicole Pullinger. I'm from Hong Kong and I study English. Hi, I'm Nicholas Tharte. I'm originally from Greece, but now I live in Oxford and I study physics. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Cara Malcolm. I'm originally from Cape Town, but I live in Guildford and I'm studying engineering. Hi, I'm James Gathel. I'm from Missley in Essex, and I'm studying Asian and Middle Eastern studies. Now, the University of St Andrews was founded by Papal Bull in the early 15th century, making it the first in Scotland and the third oldest in the English-speaking world. Notable alumni include the inventor of logarithms, John Napier, who went there at the age of 13, the theologian, John Knox, and the vaccination pioneer, Edward Jenner. Rather more recently, Faye Weldon went there, as did the cycling Olympian Sir Chris Hoy and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, representing around 9,000 students at an institution that last won this competition nearly 40 years ago. Tonight's team have an average age of 21. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Alistair Fennell. I'm from Edinburgh, and I'm studying for a Master's in Physics. Hi, I'm Harry Alderson. I'm from Shelford in Cambridgeshire, and I'm studying Physics. And this is their captain. Hello there, I'm Jack Wigg. I'm from Glasgow and I study maths. Hello, I'm Anya McMenamin. I'm from London and I'm studying classics. Now, starter questions are worth 10 points. They're solo efforts, as you know, you must answer on the buzzer and you can confer on bonuses. OK, so fingers on the buzzers. Here's your first starter for 10. The unsuccessful quiz team captain, Patrick Watts, William Pitt the Younger, Thomas Edison, the Marvel character Doctor Strange and Sherlock Holmes are among the screen roles of which... Emmanuel Tharte. Benedict Cumberbatch. Correct. <laughs> right, your bonuses are on time in the works of Shakespeare. Which of Shakespeare's title characters observes during his imprisonment, I wasted time and now doth time waste me? It's Richard II. Are you sure? Quite sure. Okay. Richard II. Correct. What number is given to Shakespeare's sonnet in which he writes, Nor shall death brag thou wanderest in his shade, when in eternal lines to time thou growest? I'm afraid I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know either. Any number it could be? I, I'm not sure. Uh, Othello. No, it's sonnet 18. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Which of Shakespeare's title characters refers to the whips and scorns of time? That's Hamlet, it's, isn't it? Where he's talking... Hamlet. I'm quite sure, yeah. Yeah, OK. Uh, Hamlet? Hamlet is correct, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Its name referring to the steadfast pursuit of an aim and about three metres in length. What planetary rover landed on the... <laughs> yes, Emmanuel Tharte. Perseverance. Perseverance is correct. Yes, well done. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on constellations of the zodiac. Removing the middle letter of the name of which constellation spells that of the Greek god of war? Um, so Aries and Aries. Aries. Yeah, yeah. Aries. Aries is correct, yes. Removing the middle letter of the name of which constellation spells that of a coastal city in the Spanish region of Galicia? Uh, okay. Vigo, is that a city? 
Virgo. OK. Yeah. yeah, that sounds right. Virgo? Virgo is correct, yes. Removing the middle letter of the name of which constellation spells that of the currency of Turkey? Uh, currency of Libra. Turkey? Libra. Libra. Yeah. Libra, yeah. Libra. Correct. Ten points for this. The son of a freed slave, Edward A. Boucher, in 1876, became the first African-American to obtain a PhD in what scientific subject? He gives his name to an award given by the US Learned Society known as the APS. St Andrew's McMenamin. Physics. Physics is correct, yes, it's the American <laughs> Physical Society. Right. These are a set of bonuses on cities in California. In each case, identify the city. First, a major urban centre described by Jane Fonda's character in the film California Suite as paradise with the lobotomy. Its name appears in that of the Spanish soprano who made her Covent Garden debut in La Boheme in 1950. Um, um, San Diego? No. Yeah, yeah. San Diego? No, it's Los Angeles. Victoria de Los Angeles is the uh, soprano in question. A city on San Francisco Bay that includes the main campus of the University of California. Its name is the surname of the choreographer who created the dance sequence for the 1933 musical 42nd Street. San Francisco. San Francisco. Um, is Palo Alto San Francisco? Yeah, that could be it. Uh, uh, Palo Alto? No, it's Berkeley, as in Busby Berkeley. And lastly, a city near the Shasta Dam in Northern California. Its name is the surname of the soul singer whose album The Dock of the Bay was released posthumously in 1968. Was Reading? Yeah, yeah it does sound Reading. Reading. Yeah. Uh, Reading. Reading is correct, yes. <laughs> we're going to take a picture around now. If your picture started, you're going to see an outline of a country with the equator marked on it. For ten points, please give me the four-word name of the country. St Andrew's Fennel. Sao Tome and Principe. Correct. Principe, yes. <laughs> Your picture bonuses will show three more equatorial countries in isolation with the equator marked. Five points for each country you can name. Firstly... It's not around um, the lake, you know, Uganda, Rwanda, that kind of area around there. Yeah, that, it's somewhere in Africa. It's quite big. Um... Yeah, good. Um... Which one, which one would you go for? Uganda. Uganda. No, it's Colombia. Secondly, this country, please. Do you think it looks like Africa because the border's sort of, like, been carved up? Like a... Yeah, it looks like... Maybe, like, somewhere, somewhere in the west of Africa. But like, um, Gabon or Cameroon or something like that. Yeah, Gabon, maybe. Gabon. Which yeah. one? Uh, yeah, Gabon. It is Gabon, yes. And finally, this country? Algeria. Uh, so, no, Algeria is not a neighbor. Tanzania. Tanzania. Um, yeah. yeah, far enough down, I think. Tanzania. No, that's Kenya next door. Right, ten points for this. Listen to the statement and answer the question that follows. February the 15th, 2021, marked the 50th anniversary of the introduction of decimal coinage in the UK. Two coins were withdrawn from circulation were the penny and the threepenny bit, which together made what fraction of a shilling? St Andrew's wig. One quarter. No. Emmanuel Rethel. A third. A third is correct. There were threepence and a penny. And with 12 pennies and a shilling. So you get a set of bonuses then, Emmanuel, on recent sporting records. In 2020, Ben Mertens, a 15-year-old Belgian, became the youngest player to win a qualifying match in the World Championship of what sport? He traced his success to having once won a miniature table at a fairground. Table tennis? Uh, miniature table? Yeah. Mm. I suppose, yeah, must be. Um, table tennis? No, it was snooker. Um, In tennis, the unseeded teenager, Igor Shantek, won the 2020 French Open to become the first player from which country to win a Grand Slam singles title? 
You go to Shantek, what does that sound like? Eastern European, maybe? Yeah, uh, mm, I think someone else would have worn it before then. Somewhere in Asia or somewhere in Africa. You go to Shantek. Shant... No, I don't know. It could be... Uh... Wait, sorry, sorry. Um, Kazakhstan. The... Come on. Yeah. Kazakhstan? No, it's Poland. In 2020, which 21-year-old became the first Slovenian and the youngest man in 116 years to win the Tour de France? Oh, um, there's a Slovenian cyclist called Primoz Roglic. This could okay. be him. Primoz Roglic? No, it was Tade Pogacar. Right, we're going to take another starter question now. Known as the Dean of Arab Diplomacy, Sheikh Sabah El Ahmed Al Sabah died at the age of 91 in 2020, having ruled which country since 2006? St Andrew's wig! Saudi Arabia? No. Emmanuel Rethel! Kuwait? Kuwait is correct, and I'm afraid you lose five points, St Andrew's. So, a set of bonuses for you then, Emmanuel, on the Greek letter Delta. Represented by a lowercase delta and named after a 19th century German mathematician, what function of two variables is defined as zero unless the two variables are equal, in which case the function is equal to one. And that's the Kronika delta. Kronika delta? Kronika. Yeah. Kronika, OK. The Kronika delta? Kronika delta is correct, yes. Born in 1944, which US scientist gives his name to another constant represented by a delta? It's a universal constant for functions approaching chaos via period doubling. Who did chaos theory? In 1940. I mean... Lorenz did. Lorenz. Was he American? Yes. OK. Uh, Lorenz? No, it's the Feigenbaum constant. The subatomic particles known as delta baryons all have what spin? Um, could it be top? I don't know. No, <laughs> no <it's> not. Um, <laughs> like... The baryons, what are baryons? Like one, maybe, I don't know. Plus one? Yeah. Plus one? No, it's three over two. Ten points for this. In surveying, what term denotes a mark placed permanently on a building or an outcrop of rock as a reference point? In a more general sense, it indicates an accepted standard by which other things are evaluated. St Andrews Alderson. Level. No. I'm afraid you lose five points. Manual Rathel. Benchmark. Benchmark is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on public figures impersonated by contestants on the US version of RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> Name each person from the description. First, impersonated by Kennedy Davenport in Series 7, a US musician often cited as one of the first black crossover artists and who described himself as the architect of rock and roll. This is, it, this is Little Richard. Um, Little Richard? It is. Secondly, impersonated by Bob the Drag Queen in Series 8, a Nigerian-American actress whose roles include Suzanne Warren in Orange is the New Black and Shirley Chisholm in Miss America. Um, Udoba is her first name. She played Crazy Eyes in Orange is the New Black. Can't remember her surname. I don't know. I have seen the show. Udoba... Oh. Udoba Chinye? No, it was Uzo Aduba. Finally impersonated by Alaska in All Stars Series 2, a US stage and film actress born in 1893. Her films include She Done Him Wrong and I'm No Angel, although she's largely now remembered for her much quoted wit. I'm pretty Lady sure this is Joan Collins. Oh. No, wait, who are you going to say? Lady Bunny. Oh, wait, it's Lady Bunny, yeah. Um, Lady Bunny. No, it isn't. It's Mae West. Oh. Right, we're going to take a music round now. If you're a music starter, you're going to hear a song from a musical. For 10 points, name the musical. Conch, St Andrew's Fennel. Oliver. Oliver is correct, yes. <laughs> Lionel Bart wrote the music, book and lyrics for Oliver. Your bonuses are songs from three more musicals for which the book, music and lyrics were all written by the same person, in some cases with a co-writer for the book. I want the title of the musical, please, in each case. Sounds like the music. With man. Uh -huh. yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, the Music Man. Music Man is correct. Yes, well done. Meredith Wilson. Secondly. Once upon a time there was a railroad line. Don't ask where, brother, don't ask where. It was the road to hell. Um, it was hard times. Oh, 
Did you read the Book of Mormon? No. No. Um. Could be the Book of Mormon, actually, maybe. No. Okay. The Book of Mormon? No, it's Hades Town that was rode to hell by an ace Mitchell. And finally. Springtime. The producers. The producers. It is the producers, yes. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Also known as a monophyletic group. What short word is the collective term for the single ancestor and all of its descendants and represents an unbroken line? Emmanuel Thotty. Clade. Clade is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on maritime piracy. A major outbreak of piracy began in the early 2010s in the waters of the Gulf of Guinea, targeting tankers carrying oil from what country of over 200 million people? Uh, Would it be Nigeria? If it's yeah, Viking? that makes sense. Okay. That will produce... Um, Nigeria? Nigeria is correct. From about 1999 to 2004, a marked increase in incidences of piracy occurred in which strait between Malaysia and Indonesia, carrying about 40% of the world's maritime trade? Malacca. 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 Yeah, yeah. Straits of Malacca. Correct. Peaking from 2008 to 2011, the Somali piracy epidemic was depicted in what film of 2013 starring Tom Hanks? Um, Is that I'm, I'm the Captain? Yeah, it's I'm the Captain. <laughs> but what was the movie name? Captain... Um, a cap oh, is it Captain Tom? Tom or something? I think Captain, it was Tom. Or Captain Price or something? I don't know. Captain what? Captain Price? I can't Captain remember. Price. Uh, Cap oh. Captain Phillips? Cap Ooh, oh, maybe that sounds right. Captain Phillips? Captain Phillips is correct. Well done. <laughs> so, ten points for this. What three letters end words meaning the Earth Mother in Inca mythology, mountain in Japanese, play or stage work in Greek? The name of the ah. explorer who reached... St Andrews McManaman. A-M-A. A-M-A is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on neurological conditions. Firstly, sometimes referred to as perception without meaning, what term derives from the Greek for ignorance? and denotes the loss of the ability to recognise sounds, smells, tastes or other sensory stimuli. Anoia, anoia... It's not schizophrenia. It's not schizophrenia. It's A-something, you know. Anoia, paranoia. Paranoia? Maybe, but I don't think so. Anoia? No, it's agnosia. The type of associative agnosia called prosopagnosia Causes the sufferer to be unable to recognise what? Faces. Faces. Faces is correct, of familiar people. An incident of visual agnosia led to the neurologist Oliver Sacks giving what title to his clinical tales, first published in 1985? The man who thought his wife was a hat or something like that. Uh, so the man who mistook the, his wife for a hat? Yeah. The man who mistook his wife for a hat. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> The Strait of Kvarken forms the narrowest part of which area of water between Sweden and Finland? Emmanuel Malcolm. Skagarak? No. Anyone ah. like to buzz? St Andrews Alderson. The Sea of Bothnia. It's the Gulf of Bothnia, but I'll accept that, yes. Well done. <laughs> right, your bonuses this time are on the Great Northern War. The Great Northern War began in 1700 when states including Denmark, Norway and Poland, Saxony formed a coalition to contest the supremacy of which country in the Baltic region? Sweden. Correct. In 1700, Charles XII of Sweden defeated a Russian army at Narva in which present-day country? Uh, it in, it's the Baltics. It's the top one. Isn't it? Estonia. Uh, Estonia is the top one. Yeah. Estonia. Estonia is correct. In 1709, Charles was decisively defeated by Russia at the Battle of Poltava, about 130 kilometres southwest of Kharkiv, or Kharkov, in which present-day country? I think it's Ukraine. 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 Ukraine is correct. Well done. <laughs> We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting. Ten points if you can name the artist. St Andrews McManaman. Manet. Manet is correct, yes. <laughs> the balcony. And on Manet's balcony, you saw Berta Morisot on the left. Your bonuses are three more paintings by French Impressionists of their artist contemporaries. 
In each case, I want the name of the painter, not the subject. First, who painted this work, which survives in two large fragments? It includes depictions of Gustave Courbet and Frédéric Basile. Any mm. thoughts? Um, maybe... Mm, Matisse? Maybe? No. Uh, Gauguin, but... Yeah. Uh, Gauguin. No, that's Monet. Second, who produced this portrait of Mary Cassatt at the Louvre? It looks like maybe Degas. Okay. Nice catch. Uh, Degas. Degas is correct. Finally, who painted this portrait of Claude Monet? Um, Renoir. Renoir. Renoir is correct. <laughs> right, well, it's very, very close. Employed at the Harvard Observatory from 1881, the Scottish-born astronomer Williamina Fleming discovered which nebula in the constellation Orion, also known as Barnard 33. It's common... Sir Dodger is McManaman. Crab. No. It's common name... You lose five points. Its common name comes from its resemblance to part of an animal. In Orion, is it a nebula in Orion? You may not confer. One of you may buzz. Manuel Malcolm. Octopus. No, it's a horsehead nebula. Ten points for this. Which of Dickens's eponymous characters is forced to wear a sign at school saying... Emmanuel Pillinger. David Copperfield. Very good. <laughs> Take care, he bites. Here are your bonuses. They're on chemistry. In 1932, which US industrial chemist was awarded the Nobel Prize, quote, for his discoveries and investigations in surface chemistry? <laughs> No, it wouldn't be Harbour. Um, it's not US. I'm sorry, I don't know. Do you have any idea? Give me some American chemist. I don't know. Uh, Williams. No, it's Irvin Langmuir. The nanostructured system known as an LB film is named after Langmuir and which other US chemist? She was the first woman to be awarded a doctoral degree in physics from the University of Cambridge. Um, Something B. No, that's medicine, that's Blackwell. Uh, it does begin with B, though, because it's yeah. LB. Oh, OK. Oh, those are the initials. Um, yeah. Brown? 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 Yeah, try it. Uh, Brown? No, it's Blodgett. And finally, in a 1928 paper, Langmuir coined what short term for a mixture of ionised gas and free electrons? Plasma. Plasma, do you yeah. think? Plasma? Plasma? Plasma is correct. <laughs> We have about four minutes to go and ten points for this. Giving its name to group 16 of the periodic table, what element has a name that comes from the Greek for acid forming? St Andrew's wick. Oxygen. Oxygen is correct. <laughs> You've got a set of bonuses now. On the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage, in each case, identify the landlocked country that is cited for all of the named customs. Firstly, the Andean cosmovision of the Kalawala ethnic group. Ritual journeys during the festival of Alasita and the carnival of the city of Oruro. Bolivia. Bolivia is correct. The music of the two stringed horsehair fiddle known as the Morin Call, knuckle bone shooting, and the coaxing ritual for camels. Mongolia. Mongolia is correct. Avalanche risk management, Holy Week processions in Mendriso. And the Wine Growers Festival in Vevey. Switzerland? Switzerland? Landlocked. Yeah, I don't know. Switzerland. Switzerland is correct. <laughs> right, ten points for this. What six letter word precedes credit, justice, and contract in the names of political theories associated with C. H. Douglas, John Rawls? Emmanuel Revel. Social. Social is correct. Your bonuses are on music of the 1870s and 1880s. In each case, name the piece of music of which the named extract forms a part. Firstly, the Great Gate of Kiev is the final section of which work originally composed for solo piano in 1874? 1812 Overture? I don't know. Sorry? 1812 Overture? That's a total guess. Oh. Well, it wouldn't be the Overture, would it? I mean, you can go for it. Come on. 1812 Overture? Yeah. 1812 Overture. So it's pictures at an exhibition by Mussorgsky. 
Morning Mood and Anitra's Dance are movements of what piece of incidental music first performed in 1876? Any idea? What was it? Morning Music and Anitra. I think I yeah. need an answer. Yeah. Anitra. Pass, pass. 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 It's Pierre Gint. The Sea and Sinbad Ship is the first section of what larger orchestral piece premiered in 1886? This might be um, Remsky Korsakov, didn't he do? Or Turandot, I don't know. That was like um, A Thousand and One Nights, isn't yeah. that a. Oh, yes, yeah. Uh, a Thousand and One Nights? No, it was Scheherazade, Remsky Korsakov. <laughs> Ten points for this. Which Hanoverian monarch was on the throne during the year given in the first line of Emily Bronte's Wuthering Heights? Ah. Uh, St Andrew's Fennel. George III. George III is correct, yes. <laughs> Your bonuses are on five letter words whose letters are in alphabetical order. Give each word from the definition. Firstly, what word as a noun can mean a jewel or trinket? And as an adjective, when applied to a house or flat, can mean small and elegant. Uh, Come on. A trophy. Trophy. No, it's bijou. Secondly, a type of pastry made with eggs and used for eclairs. Shoe. 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 Shoe is correct. And finally, what word as a noun can mean thanksgiving, adoration or renown, and as a verb to triumph or exult? Praise? No. Come on. Adore. Let's have it. Adore? No, it's glory. And at the gong, you've just done it. At the gong, Emmanuel have 135, St. Andrews have 140. Well, you couldn't get any closer than that. You might come back as one of the highest scoring losing teams. Who knows? We'll see. St. Andrews, many congratulations to you. You certainly left it to the last minute. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining us. I hope you can join us next time for another first-round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Emmanuel College, Cambridge. Goodbye. goodbye. It's goodbye from St. Andrews University. Goodbye. 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 And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.